Good evening and thank you for watching. Should Dolphins quarterback Tua Tungabailoa been allowed to play last night? He was already the subject of an NFL Players Union investigation due to what happened last Sunday against Buffalo. In that game, the former St. Louis school star looked wobbly after taking a hit but still came back to play the second half. KITV Force Jeremy Lee now joined us live and Jeremy, at least one doctor had a feeling that something bad might happen last night. Tua had to leave the field during last Sunday's game, claiming he had a back injury. We now finish the week talking about Tua again after last night's devastating concussion. Neuroscientist Chris Nowinski tweeted Thursday, if Tua takes the field tonight, it's a massive step back for concussion care in the NFL, adding that a second concussion could be devastating. Why? Nowitzki of the Concussion Legacy Foundation told Sports Radio, last Sunday's hit showed unique signs of concussion. Grabbing the helmet, faulty steps, shaking it off falling oh, he's woozy. to his teammates holding him up to keep him from stumbling. But both Tua and the Miami Dolphins said Tonga Vailoa passed concussion protocol and he was back on the field only four days later for the next game, attributing his brief departure to his back. Some fans didn't think he should have been on the field Thursday, even before this happened. They brought out a stretcher and it was pretty serious. You think he should have been playing? You know what, coming off a short week, um, Probably not. I mean, it probably been better if you had the full week to recover. Neurologists who spoke with KITV say rest is paramount for athletes who may be concussed, especially as symptoms aren't always visible. When in doubt, sit them out. And what we mean by that is that sometimes it's not obvious. Sometimes it's not clear. Not every concussion comes with getting knocked out. In fact, 75% of concussions don't involve loss of consciousness. Dr. Cole of Capilani Medical Center says that means sitting someone out for the rest of the game or practice and then closely monitoring if the athlete shows signs when they engage in non-contact exercise. If they do, they're not ready to be doing contact sports. So we make sure that we take that extra step, make sure they're really ready before we get them out on the field again. Hawaii state law requires that athletes of all ages are managed conservatively. That means pulling the athlete out if there's any concern at all. And then ultimately they need to be medically evaluated. If it is determined they have a concussion, they need to stay out until they are 100% symptom free, back to whatever their baseline is, and ultimately then returned gradually back to their sport over a period of about five to seven days of ramping up activity, making sure no symptoms come back. Tonga Vailoa is currently in the, pro the concussion protocol. There is no timetable for his return. Reporting live, Jeremy Lee, KITV4 Island News.